So I've been using the Anchor Make M5 for the past couple of months, and I have to say I was a bit intimidated by this 3D printer at first, as this is the first 3D printer I've ever used. But I have to say, after a few months of using this, the Anchor Make M5 3D printer is definitely a great 3D printer for starters like me. In this video, I'm gonna give you guys an update on my thoughts on this 3D printer after having used it for a few months, and we'll work on some special projects for stocking stuffers and Christmas gifts for the kiddos. Big shout outs to Anchor Make for sponsoring this video. Let's go ahead and get started. One thing that I really love about the Anchor Make M5 is just how easy it was for me to pick up and use. There are a few ways that you can control this thing. My favorite way to control this is through the Anchor Make application. They make it super easy to find the 3D printable model that you're looking for, and there are literally hundreds of thousands of printable models to choose from. Within the application, I was able to find a 3D balloon dog, which was something that my oldest daughter asked for as a Christmas gift. Once I found the 3D model I wanted, I clicked it, downloaded the SDL file, and then it instantly shot that over to the 3D printer and began the print process. So it's definitely super easy for anyone to pick up and use without any prior experience. When I wanted a bit more control over the customization of my 3D prints, I turned to the Anchor Make app on my PC. The slicer allowed me to load my STL files and customize them exactly how I wanted them. I was able to scale them so if I needed the model to be larger or smaller, I could make that change. I was also able to move the model on the plate in case I needed to print more than one thing at the same time, which was super helpful. And to be super efficient, I could even mirror flip the model to give me more space on the plate. There were plenty of other customization options like the quality controls. I could easily choose my layers height and width. Plus there were customizations for wall thickness and infill density. Here I was also able to change the speed of my print. If something was failing because the print was too fast, I could change the speed here to slow it down a little bit. One of the things that really made a difference here was the ability to add custom supports to your prints. The two options here that I used the most were the zigzag option. If I had something that didn't have to be as precise, but maybe there was an overhang there, I would use the zigzag. And for something that was super precise, so like I had an ASL, I love you sign language hand, and the two fingertips that point down kept misprinting. I was able to use the tree support here to give it all the support it needed to complete the print successfully. The build plate adhesion here was also super helpful. This allows you to create a layer between the plate and the 3D model. That way you can secure that to the plate even better. My youngest daughter asked me to print up some Legos and I actually found something even better within the Anchor Make app. I was able to find these kit cards. The kit cards is literally just a card full of little random parts that you can break away from the card later and build into a 3D model. So it's kind of like Legos, but in my opinion, it's better. And there were hundreds of those to choose from. So we're able to find some that she really wanted. The Make It Real platform allows you to print real life things such as city skylines, pictures of your hometown map. As part of the Make It Real platform, they even have a 3D painting where you can grab any image and turn that into a 3D painting. So if you have a specific meme that your friends refer to quite often, you can load any image into the system and it automatically makes a multicolored 3D file that you can send to the printer and print. It even tells you what color of filaments that you'll need and it prints out an astounding multicolored 3D model. A few things that really stand out about the Anchor M5 after having used it for a few months is the speed. So you can actually print it up to 500 millimeters per second with PowerBoost 2.0. This printer can print out the Benchy 3D model in just 17 minutes and 40 seconds in fast mode, and it's able to print things at up to 80% faster speeds. The Anchor Make M5 is super precise, having a detail precision as low as 0.1 millimeter. It's able to achieve this precision at up to five times the speed. You can clearly see this level of detail in the Neuschwanstein castle that I printed out for my my daughter. And as I mentioned earlier, this is my first 3D printer, so I don't really have anything to compare this to, but I was pleased with the quality of the prints coming out of this printer. One thing that really stands out about the Anchor M5 that I didn't see on any other 3D printers that I've looked at in the past is the AI camera. This actually uses AI to determine how your print's going in real time and can send you notifications and alerts if there's something wrong or if it needs your assistance. Also, just having that camera on board with the Wi-Fi connection means that I can check in on my print at all times. So even if I'm away from the house, 
I can check in on my prints that are happening live. The camera does have infrared night vision and a spotlight so you can see this whether the room has the lights turned on or not, you'll still be able to see your 3D print. This actually came in handy several times as it kept me from wasting filament on products that went awry while I was away. After having used the Anchor Make M5 for the past couple of months, my thoughts are that I really enjoy this. It's become a hobby for me. I use it all the time. This is something that my kids and I can really get involved in together. We can make projects together. So I love that aspect of having the 3D printer. It was a bit of a learning curve for me as someone that had never used a 3D printer before. But one thing that I really like about Anchor Make is the fact that they had lots of tutorials and guides to kind of walk me through every process. So from doing something as simple as loading the filament for the first time, there was a video for that. When my extruder got jammed, there was a tutorial for how to get that cleared. So there was always something to kind of keep me progressing and going in this hobby. After getting the hang of this, I was able to help my daughter to print out a 3D Taj Mahal model for a project that she had at school. The teacher loved it so much that she actually kept that model to show off in her class. For the most part, things have gone smoothly with this machine. I had a bit of an issue with the prints adhering to the surface and then I found the option to add a base layer so that it adheres better and I haven't had an issue since. And then I also found that some of my prints needed support structures and I love the fact that this can auto generate support structures so that you don't have prints failing due to lack of support structures. Once again guys, learning curve, but I'm definitely getting the hang of it now and things are going great. Overall, if you're looking to get into 3D printing for the first time like me, I think this is a great printer for beginners without making sacrifices. So I feel like this is still a high quality printer that can print pretty much anything that I throw at it, but it also has built-in tools to help make this super easy for anybody. If you're looking for something to purchase as a holiday gift for the family, the Anchor Make M5 would definitely make a perfect gift. If you already have an Anchor Make 3D printer, then the application has literally hundreds of thousands of models that you can print that are definitely gift worthy as well. I'll be sure to leave links in the description of where you can find out more information about the Anchor Make M5, the Anchor Make M5C, and also links to purchase those for yourself as well. That about wraps it up for this video. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.